What was to find, like treasure trove in English? He said the treasure trove wasn't a treasure hoard, but actually a treasure find. If you draw a blank, yes. you can just look at trove and try to make that look like a French verb. And that will start taking you there. Trouble? Tr eh, no. Trouble? No. Apply what you know. Don't guess. What do you know about French verbs? How do most French verbs end in the two form? Trouve. 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 So right. don't guess. Don't be nervous. <laughs> Have a look. What do yes, I know? Yes, but when I don't think the, the word in my mind, I get nervous. <laughs> yeah, so don't do that. No, that's not going to help you find it. What's going to help you find it is looking at what you know. You know French verbs tend to end in ER in the two form. So going from trove, that's enough, no? So trouver, to find. And to look for, to search, is chercher. 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 So this is C-H-E-R, C-H-E-R. So C-H, no, gives us che, like in le chat, the cat, like in chose, thing, C-H-O-S-E. So C-H mostly gives us ch in French. And here we have the same C-H-E-R repeated twice, no? Chercher is C-H-E-R, C-H-E-R. But they sound different, no, these two C-H-E-Rs. Chercher, chercher, to search, to look for. Chercher, chercher. Very good. What was the word for my, like in my friend? Mon. When you say it by itself, does it sound like mon? Mon. Mon, good. But when you say my friend, how is my friend? Mon ami. Mon ami, good. So because ami starts with a vowel, and because mon and ami, my friend, are very connected in meaning, my friend, mon, ami, refer to one thing, this A will bring out that N as if they were one word. Mon ami, mon ami. Your friend? Ton ami. Ton ami, ton ami. The keys is le clé. We saw ferme a clé, for example, to close, to key, to close by key, which was to lock. So le clé, the keys. Le clé. Your friend must look for the keys. So chercher is already to look for, to search for. So we don't need for here. Your friend has to search for the keys. Ton ami doit chercher les, les clés. Very good. Ton ami doit chercher les clés. What was your husband, like in le mariage, the marriage, your husband was? Ton mari. Ton mari. Very good. Ton mari. Your wife is ta femme. Ta femme. Ta femme. Ta femme. So we have ta for your, if we're referring to something feminine. And my wife is ma femme. Ma femme. Ma femme. So for feminine words, no, we have ma and ta rather than mon and ton for my and your. Can you look for my wife? I can't find her. So the first bit. Can you search my wife? Search for, but you know, we don't need the for. Peux-tu chercher ma femme? I can't find her. I cannot find her. Je ne peux pas la, la trouver. Very good. Peux-tu Chercher ma femme, je ne peux pas la trouver. Very good. So for the negation, now we saw how in French we have ne and pas for not. Je ne peux pas la trouver. So we saw ma femme, ta femme, my wife, your wife. And femme is literally woman. Ma femme is my woman. So femme is also the word for woman. Wife in English actually means the same thing. Wife is just the German word for female, vibe, spelled W-E-I-B. The B changed to an F, as is common between German and English. How was the car, the car in French? La voiture. 
la voiture. Can you look for my car? Can you search my car? Peux-tu chercher ma voiture? Very good. Ma, no, because we have la voiture. It's feminine. Peux-tu ou oh, tu peux chercher ma voiture? How would you say, I can't look for the car now? I can't look for the car now. How would you say that? I can't look for the car now. Je ne peux pas chercher la voiture. Now, maintenance. Ah. It was spelled like this, no? But it okay. sounded quite differently. Maintenance? No. Maintenance. No. All of maintenance. No, we have the I-N syllable there. Then we have the A-N-T at the end. No, all becoming A. Uh, so we get maintenant. 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 Martina. Martina. So, I can't look for the car now. Je ne peux pas chercher la voiture maintenant. So, we have mo et ma. Mo et ma for masculine and feminine my. Depending on if we're referring to something masculine or feminine or a male or female when we say my. Maybe most non-French speakers have heard the words monsieur and madame and although it's lost on us in the sound of monsieur this is actually spelled like mon sieur very literally my sire just with years of use it's become monsieur and also madame which is of course if we look at it my dame ma dame my lady it's actually what madonna means in fact in the Hunchback of Notre Dame, no, Notre Dame de Paris. Of course, we don't pronounce the final S of Paris, of Paris, no. So, Notre Dame, as we say in English, Notre Dame, just means our lady, our dame, and refers to the virgin. How would you say our car? Our car. Notre voiture. Very good. Notre voiture. Notre works for both masculine and feminine nouns. So again, we have the T-R-E, like in the verb we saw, attendre, which was D-R-E, to wait, attendre. And I was talking about that R and that E all getting swallowed into the D. We can also think of it as a R sound. So, not, for example, you can think of it as not R, not R, not R, not R. Not R. I have to look for our car. I have to look for our car. Je dois chercher notre voiture. Very good. Je dois chercher notre voiture. What was the message? This word ends A-G-E, like village. Le message. Le message. And to send or to... Envoy, literally in French, to send. Envoyer. Envoyer. You have to send our message. You have to send our message. Tu dois envoyer notre message. Very good. Tu dois envoyer notre message. We saw à la fête, for example, to the party. So we have a for two in this sense, no? This sense of to the party. And it also works for the sense of to my friend. Like, I want to send it to my friend. How would you say that? I want to send it to my friend. Je veux l'envoyer à, à mon ami. Very good. Je veux l'envoyer à mon ami. You must send them... To our friend. You must send them to our friend. Tu dois les envoyer à notre ami. Very good. But when you say les envoyer, what's going to happen? Les, les envoyer. Les envoyer. Very good. Huh? We hear the S. It reappears because of the vowel en envoyer, but not just because of this, but because le and envoyer are very connected in the meaning 
that they are transcribing there to send them. And like I mentioned, in many other languages, that would be just one word to send them. And French makes them one word in sound. Tu dois les envoyer à notre ami. Les envoyer. Les envoyer. So with le and envoyer, we had the contraction, no, l'envoyer. And with le and envoyer, we had the liaison, les envoyer. And it is generally the case that where we have contractions, like in l'envoyer, we'll also have liaisons occurring, like in les envoyer. 